I'm in the middle of the earth. That line. Left and right hemisphere. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. On my way from Mexico to Peru, I had to transit at Quito in Ecuador. Minus the time I had to go through the custom, I had about 4 hours to spend. Instead of waiting at the airport, I decided to get a driver and see Quito as much as possible in this short period of time. Quito, the capital of Ecuador, stands at an altitude of 2,850 meters above sea level, situated between mountain peaks which makes it the second highest capital city in the world. First stop, my driver took me to the first national park created in Ecuador, the Pululahua Geobotanical Reserve. This place is known for its unique geological appearance, a caldera formed from the collapsed volcano. Then, we drove a little up north towards the middle of the world, the equator, for which Ecuador receives its name. The equator line is located inside a park that requires an entrance fee. If I remember correctly, the ticket cost about 2 US dollars. Besides the equator line, they've got shops, museum, and even a small planetarium inside the park. Since I was at crunch time, I didn't get to explore much. This 30 meter tall monument is the centerpiece of the park, with a yellow painted line to indicate the equator. I'm in the middle of the earth, that line, left and right hemisphere. Afterward, we headed towards my last stop, Old Town. Packed with colonial monuments and architectural treasures, the city of Quito was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. I walked towards the plaza at the center of Old Town. There is a large monument which was installed in the late 19th century in commemoration of Ecuador's independence. I wish I had the time to slowly explore this beautiful cultural city. Unfortunately, I had a flight to catch. Another one of Quito's most recognizable landmarks is the statue of the Virgin of El Panecillo. I was only able to admire it from a distance. Before leaving Old Town, I bought this bag of mango and it was delicious. Sweet and thirst quenching. Then it was time to fly again. Two hours later. I arrived at the capital of Peru, Lima. I was only staying here for a night as a resting stop because flying can be damn tiring. Lima is the most populous metropolitan area of Peru. I checked in at my hotel which I found through TripAdvisor. It's a 4-star boutique hotel and I got a good deal back then for $55 per night. I stupidly left my wallet at the check-in counter with all my money in there, but the staff came to my room quickly to return it before I even noticed it was missing. I was so thankful and wrote them a 5-star Google review. For dinner, I initially planned to eat at a vegan place, but it wasn't open, so the driver dropped me off at this Chinese restaurant. So yeah, I ate Chinese food in Peru. <laughs> then I bought some local mangoes from the grocery shop. They were mind-blowing good. I'm leaving to Cusco now, but before I leave, I want to explore Lima. So I'm going to a park called De... called Park del Amor. It's called Love Park. Park del Amor is the most famous park in town located along Lima's scenic coastal strip. At the heart of the park, you'll see a sculpture of two lovers kissing. You'll find romantic phrases by Peruvian poets on the colorful mosaics scattered throughout the park. I read online that they even hold longest kiss contest on Valentine's Day. But for someone like me who's been single for years, can't relate. 
Then I walked back from the park to my hotel, which took about 50 minutes just to see the city as much as I could before I fly again. I grabbed my luggage and headed to the airport directly. At the Lima airport, I saw this lost stray baby who was eager to be loved. I couldn't do anything to help at that time. I just hope he is in a loving home now. Hate to end this vlog on a sad note, but yeah, that was my short trip to Quito and Lima. I hope you liked it. Please support me by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Next vlog will be in Cusco, so stay tuned!